But so my journey started, um, I was thinking about this and telling my PhD student and honours student, 25 years ago I left uh, regional Australia and at that time I thought there's no way, how am I going to cope at 17 years old in a big smoke in the city? And I think my lesson there was to not be frightened to take the path less travelled and really, um, you know, step out of your comfort zone. So I came, I always knew I was going to be uh, interested in science from a young age and I did my um, Bachelor of Science and PhD. And at the end when I finished my PhD I felt, wow, I've finally made it. But how naive was I <laughs> at that time? And really what the other lesson I learned is that this is a lifelong journey of learning and so you shouldn't really set yourself up to finish things. It's just a continuum. And th that's how I've treated you know, my career. So following that, I was lucky enough to postdoc in Boston with a great team and really the, the best thing there was I had this intellectual freedom because there was financial freedom and really uh, it's only recently I've realised the impact of having that, that, that capacity to, to freely think. Um, and no limitation on the funding is really um, one of the compounds I identified during that time has just moved into a phase two clinical trial for patients with pancreatic cancer. And I'm really proud of that because I really in my lifetime am passionate about making a difference for these poor patients with this hideous disease. So um, coming back to Australia in 2007, I realised you can have this young mind filled with great ideas but then you have to get the funding to support it. And my lesson there is, is surround yourself with great people that can pass on their lessons with grantsmanship and how do you package things. And so I was lucky enough to have some great um, mentors along the way who've really helped me attract significant funding to support um, you know, this, this challenge that we face with pancreatic cancer. But importantly, I realised that a few years back that in fact the static funding in Australia well, I could either crawl over in the corner of my office in the fetal position and think, oh my God, I've got no career, I'm going to fail, how am I going to make it? And I decided to get involved in political advocacy. And I did this through the presidency of the Australian Society for Medical Research. And really, I think that the thing I want to sell to you there is don't just sit by and watch things decline or happen. Actually, get behind it, be a voice. And through that voice and all the volunteering I've done, I learned a lot about politics and met with many politicians yet to actually change the Medical Research Future Fund and the recent restructure of the NHMRC. So with that, I'm happy to talk more. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>